I'm here at Atmosphere Europe 2018 with Michael Mateus uh, from Sandin International and he's going to give his perspective on the CO2 max sector. So Michael. Hi, I'm, I'm Michael and um, yeah, we already spoke this morning mm -hmm. in the um, applications of this um, CO2 mechanical compressor. That's what you see here in this, in this vehicle. Um, we um, um, were selected or we worked with Daimler mm -hmm. um, between 2014 and 2016 to bring this vehicle mass production um, as a mechanical CO2 system with, um, I would say, very high performance, mm -hmm. um, very, very good. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think in future we'll see more CO2 applications, especially for the um, rising demand for electric vehicles. And when we're talking about electric vehicles, um, are, do you think that will be in China as they have the most electric cars? Well, I'm unfortunately too far away from China <laughs> to know insights, actually. I hope, actually, that, uh, yeah. because there is no solution in China. Mm -hmm. They were still working with, uh, with R134A, so okay. um, a refrigerant with very high yeah. GWP. And um, now I think here Europe will take the lead. You know, we'll see more CO2 mm. applications in Europe, especially in combinations with um, electric vehicles. So do you think that other German or other European yeah. car manufacturers will also start using CO2 systems? Uh, we, we, we see trends in the market actually that um, CO2 will come from German car manufacturers. Mm -hmm. so. Um, there's definitely, as I said, there's a benefit for, for heat pump electrification. Mm -hmm. So you have a benefit for the end consumer. You're extending your driving mm -hmm. range. And um, and how much can you extend your driving range compared to other systems with a CO2 heat pump system in an electric car? It's... Um, I would say it's, it's it's similar for mild mm -hmm. markets. Um, you have a superior performance in really cold weather conditions. Mm -hmm. So um, between minus um, minus ten to mm -hmm. minus twenty, you have a superior performance. You definitely have benefits mm -hmm. in warmer performance. So if you go for larger vehicles with larger cabins mm -hmm. than this one, then you have a very good comfort um, very soon, very mm -hmm. quickly. Um, You'll um, extend your driving range in winter conditions uh, with a heat pump system mm -hmm. of about 50%. Okay. So if you have an electric vehicle and um, you can drive 200 kilometers, you can run drive 300 mm -hmm. kilometers um, through a heat pump system. So it's really a good benefit for the end consumer. Well, I hope you know other car manufacturers will bear that in mind um, when thinking about installing their mobile air conditioning systems. Uh, thanks very much, Michael, for your time. Thank you very much. And I encourage everyone out there to, uh, to look into the CO2 mobile air conditioning industry. And if you are a manufacturer or a car manufacturer, to definitely get in touch for some tips and uh, further information. Mm -hmm.